guys my hair and today I am doing a few unboxings um, from a couple of hauls I did recently and it's actually been like a couple of weeks since I've filmed anything so I apologize about that um, but it's just been a crazy end of the semester so I got two hauls recently both of them are not up currently but by the time you see this video they will be up so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start unboxing some of the things that I got in that haul and I think I'll just do them like okay we'll do them like this so the first haul is or the first thing that I got in my haul was six versions of Crush Jeans Love and Peace Japanese single so there are all six member versions here and as far as I know this is the only time they've ever had like member version anything which is the whole reason that I was like I need it they're all packaged the same way um so I have Sayoung's here but basically what you see is his CD plate it's in a very thin jewel case so it's the same as all of the member versions if you own anything for like shiny Japanese um infinite Japanese a pink Japanese 2 p.m literally everybody does this these days so yep so this is his picture and then on the inside it just says his name, the Sam, and then here is the CD, but it doesn't have his face on it. It just says Love and Peace. And open it up, and the only song on this album is Love and Peace, so the only thing inside are the lyrics to Love and Peace. And then you have the little credits thing on the inside, and that's it for Sayoung's version. So let me just take the plastic off. I'm gonna assume that they're all pretty similar and I will just show you the name on the inside and the picture on the front a little better so yeah but yeah the reason I got these if you didn't see the haul video which I'll link the haul video down below because I talk about it there as well um is oh, I should put this back the OB strip I'll probably keep that inside I really when I saw that they existed really wanted Young Sook's version because I don't really have much Japanese stuff from Crush Jean, and to be honest, there aren't too many things on their Japanese discography that I want. I mostly just want their like full albums and their mini albums, so that's kind of what my plan is as far as that goes. Um, but then I saw them all together for a very cheap price, and I was like, ooh, okay. <laughs> so this is purple OB strip, and this is Takuya's version. Really not my favorite photo of him. And on the inside, it says Takuya there and his CD his jewel case is a little damaged which I'm a little sad about I'll show you it um, I don't know if you can even tell but there's a tiny crack like right there yeah you can see it and as you can see some of the members have like just an outline of the words and some of them have like an outline and a filling of the words I believe it's split evenly I do like the song love and peace it's not my favorite Japanese song from them but so it's not like I was like, oh, this is my favorite single and there's member versions. It's not my favorite single, but this just make me makes me feel like I do have a single from them. So this is Shin's version I'm doing. So that's his OB strip. And it just says his name on the inside. And that is his CD plate. This is Casper's version, so he got red. See what I mean? He has like just the letters outlined, but it, the red doesn't continue all the way around. There's his name there. Another piece. And then we have Sungmin's version. I'm doing this because I want to take some of these home with me. I'm leaving to go home tomorrow. And it's the first time in almost a year that I will be able to like bring albums home and put them away and I just honestly have so many here at school that it's overwhelming but I have end of the year videos that I really want to film. I don't really want to take home the wrong things, you know what I mean? Okay, that was a difficult one. So this is Sungmin. He's green. Oh, there's one other thing I could have talked about that's different on every version, but I, I guess I'll talk about it on Sangmin's. So this is Sangmin's CD plate. Open it up. I love Sangmin. He wasn't my original second bias. I think my original second bias was Shin, but it's become Sangmin. I love him. So here is a CD plate, and the other thing I wanted to point out was it does say at 
like right there, whose version it is, in case you wanted to see from the outside and you didn't know. I don't know why you'd be buying these if you didn't know. It wasn't like this was an, a real released version, it was a, it's a Mumo version. So it's like a candy Japan thing? Is that a thing? I don't know if it's a thing actually. And then finally Young Sucks is blue. That's what his looks like. I open it up. It says Young Suck there. And what was it? It says Young Sucks version there. Well, that's what the CD plate looks like. So Cross Gina are a group that don't really have a lot of Korean discography and collecting them and being a big fan of them makes me want to um, collect more of the smaller things from them, if you get what I'm saying. Like they just have three mini albums released in Korea as of this point. Um, they are planning a comeback though for late this year, early next year. So soon they'll have a fourth physical, hopefully it's a physical release. I think it will be, but they're kind of getting to the point where they need to really release like physical things, but their company is based in Japan, so they just don't have a very large um, Korean discography and don't have a very large Korean following compared to Japan. They do really well in Japan, but I just feel like I should collect some of the smaller things from them because it's not like cross chain things are super expensive, like besides their first Korean mini album, which is pretty expensive if you're just like kind of looking... Like I, honestly at this point I've listened to all the songs on it so many times, like the first mini album, and I love all the songs and I just really want to own the songs. But I really do want the limited edition of it and that's what's preventing me from owning it sooner. But, yeah, so I just end up with a bunch of smaller things. There are other things that I want from them. They have a couple of mini albums in Japan. I think they have two mini albums in Japan, and then they have a full-length album in Japan, which just got released. And then they have, like, a... That's probably one of the mini albums I'm thinking of, but I was just gonna say, um, they have a... A mini album that when they debuted in Korea also got released in Japan. So, that. But yeah, that is it for that. I'm just really happy to have all six of these. I just think it's really cool that I do have all six of them. Um, and I was going to try to collect them individually, but obviously this is way easier doing it this way. And it was way cheaper. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see what else I have coming, go ahead and look in the description box down below. I'm currently waiting for two packages. One of them has six albums in it and the other one only has one thing in it. But yeah, they were both supposed to come today, but it didn't happen. So I'll open those when I get back from break. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.